Here we are, broken down. RAC. Yeah. BMW E90. This is a two litre diesel one. Not too bad if I say so myself. Nice blue, don't know what the blue is. Hate, that's all that is, pure hate. And sport one, so it's got a bit of sexy mirrors, sexy wheels, lowered, all that sort of good stuff. But, this one has a problem, ready? <laughs> Listen to that. Ooh. That is a turbo. So it looks like that's what's going to be going to be fixing next. BMW to the channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and hit that notification bell so you can see the follow-up to these videos. This is just going to be the removal, which is mostly self-explanatory. A lot of this I'm just going to be quiet so you can just see what's going on. But as with BMWs, it's just important to be careful with the plastic parts. They're really fragile, particularly the ones under the engine because they get quite a lot of heat and cold cycles. But for the most part, this is just pulling off and sliding off. Look at my silly little hand impact socket. Absolutely fantastic. Get yourself one. I'm going to put a link in the description. You can also go to my website to get that. I believe these are 10 mil on this. Just undo them, there's only two round of sides and then it's all located in. Ease that off with that removal tool. Pops out like that. Nice, simple stuff. Now the good thing about the BMW cabin is it's got loads of space. We've got to remove this pollen filter. They're always cracked and broken. I might provide links on where to get new ones of those. And just my habit is just to clean things up, you know, because you don't want mess and you don't want to be working in mess. I check out this little bonnet sensor here. I think it's a temperature sensor. I think so. But these little pad, these little air covers on their edges, they just clip off back and front. Same thing on the other side. BMWs are all plastic. Two little nuts on the side. I think these are also 10 mil or eight mil. I think they're 10 mil. I think everything's a 10 mil. But it comes off, clips off, gives you loads of space, loads of access. This is a common pipe to fail on this car. Make sure this is in good condition and functional. And it's got one little Torx socket. I think it's an E13. Listen, just get yourself a good toolkit. I'm not gonna tell you which numbers for everything. Get yourself a good toolkit and you'll have all these numbers in it. It's not nothing outstanding, but that's just an inverse Torx. Now it's time to remove the lower boost hose or pressure hose or whatever you wanna call it in on the turbo. Like I said, this car, because it's a 2 litre D, there's loads of space in the engine bay. You've got to remember, these cars can hold up to a 3 litre. So, yep, yeah, let me get my finger in there, just giving it a little feel and wiggle, make sure it's all right. Now we're onto the heat shield. You just want to just loosen the screws around it. It's a bit hard to film, but you just want to move it so you get some access. Then you can get your ratchet, electric ratchet. Once again, that hand tool, that electric ratchet, fantastic tool make sure you get yourself one of those and drop the nut in the ravine <laughs> i'm just undoing the v clamp here to separate the turbo from the dpf and just ease it back just open it up and ease it back behind that section okay so now here's where it gets a bit tricky so we've got two things we need to address we've got this line here which goes to here, it's got a nut there, and we've got the drain pipe, the drain feed pipe, which is all the way down here. So we've got that pipe there, which I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna undo. That's the drain pipe from underneath the turbo. And we've got this nut here. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, which I'm gonna do, but it's really difficult to do with the, um, with the camera. OK, 
Okay, so we're back with this Sealy Electric Ratchet. Fantastic tool, get it in there and get it undone. As you can see, it's doing all the work for me. Get a bit of rag to pick up any oil that may be in the drain pipe or the, the supply pipe. Just make sure it's all right, not dripping down your motor. Okay, so we're doing this thing a bit blind. There's a, there's a nut underneath there, I think it's a 13 mil. It's just got like another little clamp underneath that holds the bottom of the turbo. Unless you want to go under the car, you have to do it blind like I'm doing it here. And there's that nut there. I'm just picking up there. Once you've done that, I try to crack the nuts on the actual manifold itself. There's only three of them. Um, they're multi-hex, 16-point nuts. So just crack them. Make sure you use your WD-40 from before. And then just undo them. Take care of these, you don't want to break nothing. Just just take your time in it, one by one, and don't allow pressure on any one side. While the battery's charging, this is a great time to check out my website, which is www.bmacvags.com. There we sell steering wheel covers, car parts, and, and a lot of the stuff you actually see that I use in the videos. So if you want anything like that, you see anything or got any questions, you could just hit me up there and I'll be able to help you as much as I can. Remember, everything you do here supports the channel. Thank you very much. So now it's just about wiggling the turbo out. Now there is a little bracket underneath, that one where I moved that blind nut. And um, you can remove it from underneath, but me, I just persevered with it. I think if you're a bit more of a novice, it's easier, it's going to be easy to reinstall if you move that lower bracket, but this is what I did. You can choose how you do it yourself. Just pulled it out. Wasn't as bad as I thought it could have been. So far, so good. Can't complain. Um, turbo's on the floor. I'm going to inspect that now. But yeah, I think I've lost... The shim bracket that goes between here and the and the um, turbo, but yeah, so far so good. Not going to complain. In the next video, I rebuild this turbo and yeah, bring it back to life again. So if you want to see that, like I said, hit the notification bell and you'll see that in the next video.